This is How to Raise a Dragon by Gregory Weir. Um, <laughs> you, you don't see these things when you start the game. All that's here is this book, and then in the center of the table is the egg. And we'll show you the controls here. Arrows move left and right, down plus Z to jump through uh, the supporting platform. I think there's one in the game. Z jumps, uh, when you're an adolescent dragon, Z double jumps, and when you're a mature dragon, Z flies. X is to bite and eat things, C is to breathe if you have a breath weapon, and escape returns to the screen. We'll start from the beginning. If you sit here, let's turn the volume up a bit. Ooh, hey, you moved without me touching the keyboard. That's interesting. The first time I played this game, I, I thought this was an intro movie, so I just waited for it to do something, and it never did. If you hit the left and right buttons on the keyboard, you crack the egg open, boom, and you get your cute little dragon. So it tells you how to walk left and right, and then here you get hatchlings. Feel free to pause this if you want to read it, because I'm not going to read it out loud. And the same will happen with all the screens. Now as you go, there's these three bits of food. One is green, one is blue, yeah, there's the coloration screen, and the other one is red. So there you go. Depending on which guys you eat is what color you'll change. And I'm going to go with, what was the color scheme I wanted? It was one green and two blue. So there's one green, one blue. Here's the only part of the game where you use the uh, down through a supporting platform maneuver. There's my other blue. Whoa, I fell. There we go. That's my, my coloration that I have chosen. Once you've played through the game a bit, it gives you the option of... Uh, let's eat another blue. Bunk. Hey, now I'm a little bit more blue. It gives you the option of uh, using a slider to select your dragon's color. So that's how you know how many of each color thing you want to eat in order to reach certain colors. There we go. Ooh. For things that are in awkward positions like that, where he's up here, you can't jump and hit the bite button. You have to hit the bite button and then jump so that he kind of scoops it into his mouth at the top of the jump. And here... We get captured by an androgynous wizard. So here we are in the next stage. This is adolescence. And here, just like in the first stage, the left and right buttons break you out of your cage. And the adolescent is the one that can double jump. So here's your adolescent screen. Feel free to pause. Oop, broken stairs to teach you about double jumping. And there's your breath powers. So as you travel through the adolescence area, what you're doing is eating either parts of the leaf, which gives you plant growth breath, or, and there's some more. This is the way to escape using plant growth. Um, or you eat fire to give you fire breath. Up, up, up. Come on, you can do it. I've seen you do it before. Or, this is medicine, which gives you healing breath. And I've already unlocked the fire breath and the plant growth breath, so I'm just going to go around and collect the medicine breath. Once you've gotten all the pieces of, a, of any one breath, um, it you can't pick up the rest of them, to the best of my knowledge. I tried to, and I think once I ate all of one particular breath. The other ones disappeared so that I couldn't eat them anymore. Uh, let's go across here. This is the way to get out if you've got the fire breath. You burn this stack of hay and then you escape. Here's the dungeon. This fire breath you have to bite and then jump up in order to eat it. There we go. Magic mushrooms. There's only one more bit of fire breath, I mean uh, healy breath left. This is the sewer, and there's an escape hatch in the sewer, too, in case you want to escape without earning a breath weapon, which is entirely possible. I like my blue dragon with a little bit of green to him. 
His name is Agog Memnar. And I can't remember what that's based off of. Agamemnon. There's the last bit of Healy Breath. So now when you hit the C button, oh, Healing Breath. I haven't actually seen this, so I'll read this one out. A dragon who has ingested certain herbs and mystical substances during adolescence can produce a healing mist from its nostrils. Ew. The substance is as effective as the best man-made salves and can cure, all, uh, can cure most ailments. This ability is sometimes used selfishly, so that the dragon can amuse itself or reward loyal servants. Folk tales more often tell of those dragons who have turned the power to benevolent purposes. By amuse themselves, I guess they mean that uh, the dragon... Let's see if I can eat the fire. Ah, yeah, see, it says I can't have it. And this is what Healy Breath... Ooh, whoa, a little bit of lag there in this game. Healy Breath looks like this. Whee. How do we escape using the Healy Breath? Well, up here, one more up, is... No, one more up. At the top of this tower... There it is. The mage is sick, and so we Healy Breath him. And for forgiving our human captor, we are released. This is Big Bertha. And uh, when you're the plant growth dragon, if you breathe on the trees, they sprout extra tree stuff. Uh, vines and leaves and all flowers, all kinds of stuff grow around it. When you're the fire breath dragon, everything burns into a crisp. So here we've reached adulthood. Feel free to read that. Ooh, we're lagging again. I don't know if the lag is part of this game, because this is the only game I have that seems to lag. There we go. I healed a deer. Um, or if it's related to the uh, Mafia Wars auto player I have going right now. And this is the level where you get to interact with humans. So here's a little farmer. If you want to, you can eat him. I don't recommend it, I guess, when you're the Healy Dragon. And as you walk along, if you're the fire-breathing dragon, you can burn these uh, people and burn the trees and the huts and the fields. The, sp the plant growth dragon causes like the, f the farmer's fields to grow. And the Healy Dragon is for right here, where there's all these bloody people. And as you travel along, there's more bloody people. Right here you see this home icon. When you sit there, it fills up. That's you making your lair. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's two lairs. Zombies? Hell no. Get over here. I am not making any zombies. You can be... Oh, I just stepped on him. Oh well. Too bad for him. And then all the way over here is the other house, which is up in this cave. And I guess depending on your breath weapon, your method of escape, and your uh, treatment of the people here, whether you make your lair up in the mountains or back in that little castle, you get a different combination of titles. Like I had the Reclusive Watcher and the Flaming Tyrant or something like that. I have not made this my house yet though, so we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go. The Healer Guardian. Sometimes a dragon will set itself up as a guardian of a human settlement. It may be out of true benevolence or perhaps the same sort of condescending concern we humans have towards our pets. The motivations of dragons are inscrutable. These guardians are somewhat, sometimes kind and sometimes strict. Among humans, they can generate love or resentment. As long as I get to eat the f a virgin every five years, I'll heal people. That's Agagmemnon's terms. After that, I forgot about this level, you get to play the hero. Yay, the hero! And you get your choice here of gold to bribe a dragon a bow to kill the dragon, or a flower which I've never used before. Presumably, I guess, to love the dragon. Alright. Um, when you have the gold or the flower, nothing happens when you press the C button. X picks up and drops it, and Z jumps. Um, but when you have the bow, the C button shoots arrows, and presumably you can shoot and kill the dragon. In this case, we're going to bring a flower to the dragon.
think. And apparently he doesn't like it. What's your problem, yo? Okay. How's that, Cap'n? You like the gold? The gold makes you happy? There we go. Friendship! What am I going to cut out to make this video in time? I don't know. But, there we go. End of the game. The end.